Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about how to determine the order of reaction. So let's look at this reaction where we have acetaldehyde decomposing to make uh, methane and carbon monoxide. Acetaldehyde uh, occurs naturally in oak and tobacco leaves and is also present in automobile and diesel exhaust. And yes, I know you don't actually care, but I feel obliged to tell you these things. So what we're going to do is start by writing the general rate law which is just rate okay, equals K, the rate constant, times the concentration of the reactant. Okay, remember, the products don't get involved here at all. Raised to some M power. So the trick now is to figure out what M is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at these concentrations, and I'm going to find two different experiments where the concentration has doubled. So at this point, the concentration of this has doubled. And I want to look and see what happens to the rate at the same time. Well, from here to here, I don't know if you can tell by looking, but that's actually quadrupling. Okay, 1.4 divided by 0.34 is actually 4. So at the same time, when the concentration doubles, the rate quadruples, so 2 to the m equals 4, so m equals 2. So we ended up with the rate law, or rate expression, that rate equals k times the concentration of acetaldehyde squared. So this tells us that every time I do this reaction, when I double the concentration of acetaldehyde, the rate quadruples. If I were to triple it, it would be 9 times as much. Okay. So what we're going to do in this slide now is use that rate law that we just determined and we're going to see if we can determine K now. Okay, So I've got basically what ends up being an equation into which I can fill in stuff that I know. Okay, I know the rate and I know the concentration at a bunch of different times. I'm going to take this set of data. I can use any of these sets of data. I'm just going to pick the first one because it's first. So I plug in for rate, that's 0.34 equals K times the concentration, 0.2 squared. Okay, so if I take 0.34 and divide it by 0.2 squared, I believe I get 8.5. So finding the K is actually pretty easy. Now the fun part, or not so much fun, is finding the units for K. Unfortunately, they're different every time. It depends on what the order of the reaction is. So what we're going to do is try it with this one. So we're going to take this equation right here, and we're going to plug in units. The units for rate are moles per liter per second, Okay, which equals the units for K. I'm going to leave a blank here so we can fill in. And then the units for uh, concentration are moles per liter but this whole thing is squared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a square here and here and then just kind of get rid of that. So then I have to figure out what can I put in here that will make two sides of this equation the same. Well on this side I have moles and here I have moles squared. In order to make them equal I need to put moles on the bottom because moles squared over moles gives me moles. Similarly I've got liter squared and liters going to have to put liters on the top. And then in order to get this all even, I need seconds there. So for this particular reaction, K is 8.5 liters per mole per second. Okay, I'll show you a shortcut for figuring out the units of K later, but let's practice a few of them first. Just try one more for practice, all right, right from the beginning. So this is some reactant A goes to products. So I'm going to start by writing my rate law. Okay, Rate equals K times the concentration of A, again, just look at your reactants, to some power M. So I'm going to look at some concentration of A, and this one doubles. right? That's times 2. And when that happens, look, the rate doubled too. So when I doubled A, the rate doubled. So it looked 2 to the m is 2, so it looks like m is 1.
All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and say that rate is K times a concentration of A, and that's my rate law, and it's first order with respect to A. Then I'm going to go ahead and plug in some, some data. I'll take the first one again because it doesn't matter. And the rate is 0.1, and that equals K times a concentration of A, which is 0 0.05. So K, I believe if I take 0.1 and divide it by 0.05, I get 2. Okay, so again, I'm going to go ahead and plug in some units. For rate, it's moles per liter per second. So that's some units for K. Concentration of A is moles per liter. So can you see that all I need here to make this equal is 1 over second. So K is 2, 1 over second or 2 second to the minus 1. And that's how you figure out the order of reaction when there's a single reactant. In the next video, I'll show you what to do when there's more than one reactant.